Today's day four since um, all this shit started happening, and I'll be honest, I think at this point I'm starting to think it might not actually be a massive Chinese hoax. Maybe the, the enormous ship flying over my house yesterday uh, instilled that in me a little bit. Uh, after, I, uh, after it went over my uh, you know, immediate yard, I followed it through the woods for a little while to see where it was going. I, you know, I honestly don't know what the hell's going on, and I shot a little video of that. Uh, I'm still following that, that ship that, uh, that went over the house. It's been just continuing south since it went over me. There it is right there. I don't know. I think I, one of the things that's most frustrating about this whole thing is I just don't know what's going on most of the time. Well, at, at all, really. I, I mean, that, that thing could have just blown up some city to the north and now it's headed south to the next one, or... Again, I'm just, I'm presuming that, uh... That they're hostile, I don't know. I mean, maybe the explosion was people and, you know, the aliens are going to cut us some slack and they're, they're going to some, you know, diplomatic meeting at Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Except Devil's Tower is to the west of here, I guess, so it wouldn't be that. I know that for certain, unless they're taking a circuitous route. I don't know, but uh, maybe I shouldn't be out in the open here, I don't know. Am I whispering too? <laughs> so they can hear me? Yeah, don't talk too loud, they'll hear you. Uh, or maybe they can, I don't know. That's the thing, I don't know anything. Uh, I got the, the batteries charging for the radio, so uh, maybe I'll find something out. Oh, 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 hey, something's happening. Something's happening. There's something coming out of it, or something. What is that? There's something flying out of it, something little. I don't know. I wonder if they're going to come back this way. I think I'm going to go back in. Right, so it's cloudy today, but yesterday was plenty sunny enough, and I've got a bunch of AA batteries charged up, and I'm going to be popping those into my Sony shortwave radio so we can maybe find out what the hell's going on in the world. Uh, but, you know, to, my, to be honest, even today is, is not bad. And, and, and I checked these solar panels yesterday, and they were producing... I don't know, I, I wouldn't necessarily know that anything had happened if I hadn't, uh, you know, didn't see an explosion in space myself and, and know that uh, power all got knocked out. Even right now, is it like 20 volts or so, which is what you'd expect for a, uh, let me plug it back in, uh, which is what you'd expect for a, uh, you know, an overcast day. So this stuff seems like it's working all right. Uh, oh man, I had a scare yesterday though. Um, when I was checking all these things, I go down to the basement and I realize my charge controller is destroyed. You have a solar electric system has three basic parts. You get your solar panels, your batteries. Those are pretty, you know, obvious to anybody. And then there's something called a charge controller, uh, and that is a really simple thing too. It's uh, the one that I, uh, the one that got fried, is only like thirty bucks. Like I said, they're just tiny little thing. Uh, and what that does is it keeps the panels from overcharging the batteries. Uh, so when I saw that that was fried, I was like, oh, man, I, like, you almost have nothing. Like, maybe I could have, like, had the panels, like, I could manually kind of make sure the batteries don't get overcharged or whatever. But uh, I was really kind of down in the dumps. But then I, I remembered I had a backup somewhere, but I didn't know where the backup was. And I went through the Faraday cage, and it wasn't in there. Um, but, in fact, it was in there. I, I went through again. And I'd stuck, I had a spare one, and I'd stuck it into the bag with the, uh, the handheld radios. I don't know why I did that. Save on Mylar bags? I, I don't know. But I was freaking out until I found that. And I was so lucky I had that. The, the, the spare, I think I spent like 22 bucks on it on Amazon. It had like a, a dented box or something like that. Um, but even full price, they're only like 30 bucks. And at the moment, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, so now I've got the system going again. Solar panels, charge controller, really cheap. And then batteries. It's, it's really easy to set up your own solar system, and I'm glad that I've got one right now. So anyway, I've been able to use it to charge batteries, and now we'll be popping them into this, this radio here. Uh, what I like about this radio, and this is a Sony ICF-SW7600GR radio. That's a really easy name to remember. You, know, you can easily see how the folks at the marketing department uh, you know, are keeping their jobs at Sony. Actually, nobody's got any jobs at Sony anymore, but I don't know. I can never remember serial numbers on anything. 
Uh, but anyway, what I like about this radio is it's a shortwave radio, and the benefit of shortwave radios in this situation versus AM and FM is that shortwave signals can really travel for a long distance over the Earth. They kind of like re reflect off the ionosphere. So you can get, be getting radio signals from the other side of the planet, uh, which right now would be very helpful because if there's anyone still broadcasting, I would like to know it. Uh, the other thing I like about it is they take this, this particular radio just takes this uh, very easily to replace AA battery. So, so we'll just play around with this and see what we can find. I remember, you know, just from my experience with playing around with shortwave radio, even prior to alien apocalypses, uh, it's a little difficult to find the station sometimes, so it might take a bit. Just kind of pop through the frequencies and listen for a human voice or a non-human voice. Is that something? What is that? Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.